Do you know? We are live. Woo! Yay! How exciting. I'm so excited that you're here, Anne. It's really, really cool. I'm just, yeah, I'm so excited that you come to, to share your knowledge with us um, today. So thank you so, so much. It's so exciting. So, Thank yeah. you for having me. It's fun. I'm I'm all the way down under when I'm sitting in my little house in California. I love the magic of technology. Oh, me too. It's just amazing. I just love it that you can. That how would who would have thought you know that we can be sitting here and actually physically talking to someone and seeing them, and sharing it with people online at the same time. Like it's just yeah, amazing. I just love it. That. Is. It's just so yeah. good. Yeah. It's so much fun. I love it too. Yeah. So awesome. So thank you so much. So yeah, as I said before, so thank you, thank you, thank you. So yeah, so I've known, I've known Anne now for about, I don't know, um, it's th nearly four years, three and a half years, probably. Something like that. Yeah. It's been a while. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, and I know from your, that the work that you do, that you're an amazing, you're very successful and amazing at running retreats. Um, and Anne's been running retreats now for a long time she and she'll tell you all about it and you can probably tell by the picture that's behind her she actually <laughs> runs wisdom and dolphin sorry wisdom but I'm um, sorry whale and dolphin wisdom retreats and she runs them all over the world so she has so much experience um, in doing that and has now um, is changing and helping people she teaches people how to run retreats but also now she's teaching people how to run virtual retreats, especially with the situation we're in, it's important that you, if you have a message, that you can still get it out and share it with the world. So yeah, so tell us, Anne, tell me all about your retreats. Like what, 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 what do you, what do you do? Like share with us, how do you run retreats? Sure. So I used to live in Panama. I was there for 15 years and I was married to an indigenous man there. And I, found out that it's very easy to find the whales there and I have always loved dolphins and whales and never got enough time out on the water with them so how do I get out there to see them and I realized that nobody in that entire country was doing whale watching tours so I literally pioneered the industry in that country which wow. was not not easy because not only was nobody going to watch them, but nobody knew you could go and watch them. So, oh, wow. yeah, so it was a bit of an uphill battle in educating the, the potential clients, customers. And I love doing the day tours, but I love, uh, excuse the pun, diving deeper into connection with the dolphins and whales and exploring the spiritual aspect and learning the wisdom that we can learn from them through whether it's through communication or just observation of how they live in harmony with the planet and apply it to our own lives. And so I started my whale and dolphin wisdom retreats in Panama and the Pearl Islands in 2007. Wow, that's been a while now, hasn't it? It's, it's been a while. And so now I'm expanded and I go all over the world with my retreats. We go to the Bahamas, Hawaii, French Polynesia, um, all, all over Mexico, all over. And so, one day, it, sorry, excuse me, one day Australia. One day Australia. I have been to your lovely country and I look forward to coming back and you do have an amazing whale population there that mm. I would love to spend more time with. So absolutely, that's on my list. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so now with the situation that's going on, you've actually, because you can't do the live retreats right now. Right. You know, right. So you've actually been helping people um, and running your own virtual, virtual retreat. So yes. what is a virtual retreat? Yeah, so a virtual retreat is when this whole thing, this whole pandemic started, it's like, okay, now what the heck do I do? And obviously the retreats I had planned have been all postponed, rescheduled. And so what do I do in the meantime? Well, along my path of leading retreats, I started teaching and coaching people how to lead their own successful retreats. 
And so I thought, okay, so obviously we got to go virtual somehow, some way, but how do I take a retreat that we're swimming with whales or dolphins and make that virtual? Yeah. And I discovered a way, uh, is it gonna replace actually being in the water with those amazing animals? No. Is it gonna come a, a really close second and, and really provide a lot of value and connection to my clients? The answer is yes. Wow. And so when I look at the word retreat, what I mean is take a live retreat. It is not a con sitting in a conference room getting a ton of content, 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 like through a fire hose. It's not that. It's not a seminar, it's not a workshop, but a live retreat has, has some content, but really it has experiences and tours and activities that align with your theme of that retreat. So that all together as a whole is how transformation and breakthrough moments happen in people's lives. So when I build a virtual retreat, I wanna take as many of those aspects together and make it virtual. So again, when I'm leading a virtual retreat, I am not just talking or giving a PowerPoint slide presentation the entire time. I am leading activities, even games, that align with my message. And what I started doing with my own virtual retreats is doing what I call spiritual swims. Wow. And what that is, it's a guided meditation or a visualization that I lead or people close their eyes and they listen to my voice and I guide them as if they are in the water. So it's like, we start out on the boat or on the beach and I walk them into the water and then they're swimming and as a dolphin or a whale comes up and the beauty of doing it through this, this virtual format is there's no limitations and there's no danger. <laughs> Absolutely. And how, right? long, how long is the virtual retreat, do you reckon? Well, I've, you can do them in all formats. For example, I did a virtual retreat on the exact same dates we were supposed to be swimming with dolphins in the Bahamas. And that was a six day trip. So every day for six days, we met for two hours virtually. Wow. And so I had fun game activities. I had, I did the spiritual swims. I taught content. And what was amazing was if you think you can't really connect with somebody virtually, I had people going really deep, sharing vulnerably, in tears, releasing emotions almost every day. Yeah. And on the last day, most of these people had not ever met before this retreat and they were telling each other how much they loved each other. So beautiful. So that's one way to do it. Another way is when I teach people how to do a virtual retreat, I do it within the format of a virtual retreat. So I have a one day virtual retreat. It's six hours in two, three hour chunks. And we just talk of, we do, again, we do content, we do activities, we do movement. There's a really fun play game that we do. That's hilarious. Everybody's laughing yet getting a lot of value out of it too. Yeah, wow. So what does someone need to do to actually run a virtual retreat? How do they- Well, here's they the thing. I, I meet a lot of people who say they've thought about running a retreat or someday they wanna run a retreat for their clients. And they either say they don't feel ready, they're not ready, their business isn't ready, their list isn't big enough. But here's the thing, with a virtual retreat, I like to keep it small and intimate, just like a live retreat would be. So I want maximum 12, 15 people in my virtual retreat. You don't need a huge list to find 12 to 15 people. And because it's a virtual retreat, 
you don't, there's no expenses other than paying your $14.99 a month for a Zoom account. Yeah. I think it'd be a lot easier, actually. I'm thinking like if you were thinking of running a live retreat, maybe running a virtual right. retreat is a good path to do first exactly. you know, to get the confidence of actually running the material and connecting and all of that before yep. you actually did run a, a, um, a live retreat. Hmm. Absolutely. It's, it is a great warm up for you and for your clients. Hmm. And there's no risk, financial risk, yeah. because when you're booking a live retreat, you have to send money to a hotel or retreat center to hold those dates. And that's taking a risk that you're going to, if you don't fill it and you have to cancel, you might lose that deposit. Right. And so you, and you put a lot of effort and organizing and time, whereas a virtual retreat, you just have to figure out what you're going to, what you're going to do. And that's it. And so there's no risk. And so it's a warm up for you, but it's also the reason it's a warm up for your clients is because when you ask somebody to come on a live retreat with you to travel somewhere, that's a big ask. Mm. Maybe they don't know you very well. And maybe someone's like, I don't know if I want to spend a week with this person. I don't really know her very well. And she's asked me to travel halfway across the world with her and it's expensive and I might miss my, my kid's soccer game or you know whatever is going on in their life. And so with a virtual retreat, it's an, usually a lower price. Like my, my one day, six hour virtual retreat training is $197 and you could do it for $97, a very low price to, to attend. And after spending even one day with you that no like and trust factors like exponentially higher and it's the perfect way to build momentum for your live retreat or your program or your membership group or any other high-end offer that you have yes yeah that's yeah it sounds great and I think it's something that a lot of people would really enjoy doing so actually doing a, a live retreat it'd be a lot of fun you know so what it's what do we have to fun. do like I'm, I'm getting keen now like ooh, all ooh. right all right so you need a zoom account and here's a hint if you only have a free zoom account you can literally upgrade for one month and pay a whopping 15 dollars. that's it and then downgrade again so it's not like you even have to have that expense every month and so 15 bucks and you got to figure out what your theme what are you going to be teaching and then build your schedule and your activities and then let the let everybody you know uh, be aware that it's happening just start doing emails maybe do some facebook lives to talk about it uh share do social media posts and i'll tell you i my last virtual retreat i only had five days that i could promote it and i had 10 people yeah, it's great congratulations Thank you. So it's not that hard. And you might think, oh, well, she's an expert. She's, you know what? Maybe I'm a little further along the path than you are. But say you have, you only have a couple hundred people on your email list, maybe even only a hundred. And, but if you're on social media and you just spread the word, you can do it. And even if you only had two or three people in your virtual retreat, it's a hundred percent profit. So why not? And why not get the practice with a few people and then the next time will be even better? Oh, absolutely. No, it sounds great. So yeah. So how much setup time do you think they need like to set it up? Do you think it's a lot of setup? I mean, I suppose you- For me, the longest time is people think building the schedule is really hard. And that's kind of a wall that people get overwhelmed. Like, what am I going to do in it? But if you just start banging out an outline, right? You just start, get you know, a piece of paper, get a document on your computer out and just start, okay, I wanna teach this. I wanna do that, but I'd like to put some movement in here. Maybe you can, and the thing is you can do, you can do demonstrations. Like if you're doing a 
raw food virtual retreat. You could have your your care your computer facing you, and then you could set up your phone into the Zoom account with its camera facing what you're doing at the food prep, so that there's two views happening. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Right? Yeah. And so they can hear you, see your face talking, but they're also watching what you're doing. So you can do cooking demonstrations. You could do yoga. You can do art projects. And you could do vision boards. There's pretty much no limit other than hands-on touch that you can do on, on a virtual retreat. Yeah, yeah. And because that's right. And people do real retreats on all sorts of topics. So there's no reason why you can't convert that to being online. Absolutely. Say, for example, you do, you know, like you you would like to do a relationship retreat or couples retreat, and you want people to go deep into, you know, dialoguing within themselves. You set them up, you give them content, you give them exercises. Well, in Zoom, you put them into breakout rooms. Exactly. Right. You just put them in the rooms and say, okay, we're going to give you 10 minutes each to talk about this. And off you go. Yeah. Oh, Zoom is an amazing tool. I just love Zoom, you know. Me um, too. And there's so many features that, you know, often you don't, you're not aware of the features that there are. Right. A lot of people are not. And it's just, um, there are so many that um, people can, can use, you know. And just a little aside, if, if people do want to learn more about Zoom, my YouTube channel, actually, I've been, and my website, I've actually got a lot of videos up that I've been doing on Zoom. So always happy to, you know, so I'll pop my link for my website down below and it's all categorized like a blog. So you can just go to Zoom and you can get tips on all sorts of things now. So yeah, awesome. so that's just a guide so it can help people getting their, their um, retreats ready, you know, so don't use Yeah, this. fabulous. And then the other thing is, if you have somebody like an accountability buddy or somebody you know, a colleague that also has a business that also might want to lead a virtual retreat, then I suggest that you partner up and you work as each other's assistant in each other's virtual re retreat. Because it's nice to have somebody else that sets up like breakout rooms and, and you know, can you can share things with. And so you can partner and you can practice those things together before you actually get to the retreat. Yes, yeah. Because that's it, isn't it? Sometimes the technology gets people a bit stumped, you know, and if yeah. it's the first time you're doing it, I, you know, you've got to think about the content, the flow, the timing, and then yep. to start thinking about the technology, it can right. be a bit stressful, especially the first time. So yeah, practice yep. is something you need to, I believe that practice, practice, mm -hmm. practice. Um, that's really important. And do you actually record them and then send them, send them? Like the, if people can't come, do you, do you let that happen? People can book, but not attend and they get a recording or... People yes. who attended, do they get a recording? Like, what do you do with recordings? Yeah, everybody, I, I do record the whole thing. Uh, and everybody who attends gets a link to the recordings. Yeah. And then um, what I actually do is I will sometimes sell the recordings. Ah, that's a good idea, isn't it? Right? Yeah. So, um, so virtual retreat training if you want to know about virtual retreats, but you can't come on the day I happen to be holding it, no problem. Here's a, here's a link to purchase the recordings. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's great, isn't it? Hey, Kathy. Hi. Just Kathy's watching at the moment. She said, said hello. So we'll say hi to Kathy. Hi. Hey, Kathy. I'm great glad to be here. here. Yeah. So yeah, that's a good idea, isn't it? Selling, like selling the recordings as a, a package as well. So, yep. The only thing I do, I mean, obviously I edit it at, I, what I do is I edit it into chunks, into content chunks, so that it's not like for my six hour training, you don't get six hours of video you have to figure out. I break it down and edit it, but that's not, you don't have to do that. Yeah. And then I just put it up on YouTube and it's done, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's it. So it's really, it's really easy to send, just to send multiple, multiple videos out with a different pieces of content is great right yeah and then if you want to go a step further what i do when i sell the recordings is i don't just send them youtube links is i'll make a page on my website that i just put all the videos and tell them like okay this video is 
you know, we're talking about technology and this is a 30 minute video so that they're all numbered and they're all in order so that when somebody purchases the recordings or I share the recordings, I give them one link and everything is there. Yeah, that's a great idea. So yeah, very good, very good. This is very exciting. So do you have any other information you'd like to share about how, how to run retreats? Any little gems you might have? Well, I'll tell you that the one thing that I see one for a live retreat, even for a virtual retreat, give yourself enough time to promote it. Don't do what I just did and have five days to promote it. <laughs> you don't want to set yourself up for stress that way. But you, what you want to do is for a live retreat, I always teach that you want nine to 12 months in advance to promote it. So you've already done your organizing, you've gotten everything, all the pieces put in, the budget, the price. Mm -hmm. on, a, on a virtual retreat, I would say, give yourself, I would say, ideally three weeks and more is fine too. I wouldn't, if it's a first time and you have a smaller list, I wouldn't go under three weeks to promote it. Give, you, give yourself that, that cushion. And yes. then the, the single most important thing when you are thinking about leading a retreat, live or virtual, is be really clear on your vision, meaning the theme and the goal for that retreat. What are the benefits that your audience, your clients are gonna get out of it? And then every single thing that you include in that retreat has to align perfectly with that goal the activities, the tours, if it's alive, the location, the venue, everything should align with that goal. So it makes it a really nice, a holistic experience. Yeah, wow. That's great. I'm so excited that you could share all of this with us. So how can people get in contact with you if they're interested in finding out more? Sure, so I have a free gift that I'd love to share. And it is uh, www.virtualretreats with an S guide.com. We'll pop it below in the comments as well. Perfect. Kathy's just Perfect. asked a question. She said, Do you find people get overwhelmed if they're lumped with recordings? Say that again. They get overwhelmed with. She's asking if people get overwhelmed. So I think if they, they get a whole lot of recordings at once, do you think people are overwhelmed? Hey, you know, for this kind of format, it's, it's not so bad because it's normally delivered in one day. Yeah. Right. So, and that's why I break them into chunks and give them access so that it's, they don't have to sift through the parts that they want, or especially if they want to go back and review anything, it's yeah. all broken down into topics. And so it means they can always go back and, and if they're looking at the recordings, They've got life, once they have that access, they've got lifetime access to that. So they can go back and watch them at their leisure. And none of the chunks are longer than like 50 minutes. Yeah, I think that's important so, to have small chunks. Yeah. I believe that exactly. too. You're much better yeah. to, people can then just watch that or, you know, rather than having to, to, like you said, to sit through a long, it's hard to find big chunks of time but it's easier to find lots of small chunks of time, isn't it? So Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's always there. And also I want to say that, you know, the, the virtual retreats guide that I'm giving you, it's a complete planning guide. It takes you through every step along the way and it it's a workbook. So you can literally work through it and write right in it. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. I'm sure people are going to absolutely love that, to do that, to, to download the workbook and and um, start thinking about, you know, because it's somewhere just to think about it. Like, you know, they may never have even thought about the possibility Correct. of running yep. a virtual retreat. And yep. now it's like, well, you know, I can, these workshops that I used to run, I can make them into a longer, like a virtual retreat by adding more mm -hmm. content, you know, or whatever, you know. And so, yeah, it's a really. Yeah. And it's not okay. just you, like the PowerPoint, not doing all of that, more of that. It's finding these fun activities where like maybe an improv game or, you know, some kinds of fun game or some fun activity 
that will one build that sense of community yeah. amongst your participants yeah. and that that makes them really feel like they're participating as much as you are delivering it yeah i think that's important is it because when you go to a live retreat or a live event you know it's yep. the it's the fact that's live you know it's the fact right. that you have that um connection and you have the time to have the networking and you have the mm-hmm. time to bond and meet new people and all of that right so i know for me that's high on my list um is yes. to get with live things you know um mm-hmm. So it's great that you can actually build all of that as well into a virtual retreat. Yes. Um, That's really, yeah. So that Yeah, and what I find is generally towards the end, everybody's like, well, how do I get in touch with you all? Like they're all asking how they can follow up and stay in connection with them. So that's really beautiful. Then you know you've done your job well if they want to continue that connection. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, and thank you so, so much for coming. I really appreciate it. And we will pop the, the details below in the comments. So that way um, people can download your beautiful gift. Thank you so much for sharing that with everyone. And yeah, you're welcome to you again sometime really soon. So thank you so, so much. And I look forward to, yeah, speaking to you really, really soon. And bye everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody. If you are watching this on a replay, please put some comments below and we will answer them. So we look forward to connecting with you. Have a most amazing and abundant day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.